Hey, it's Nick Bag TV. What's up, man? It's your boy, Mr. Nick Bag TV, aka Blogaholic. Back in the bidding, back in the midix. Um, about to get into Didis. Um, did y'all hear about this, man? Adidas announced they will still be selling Yeezys under another name. How about that, man? Adidas is like, hey, we still about to sell these joints. We, it's still money to be made out in these streets, man. Adidas. Remember this? All day I dream about sex. Oh, the Adidas mean. <laughs> Some of y'all might be too long, young for that. But your boy not. Um, Killer Mike. Remember he had that song? All day I, all day I, all day I dream about sex. That song was trash. That song was literally garbage. Killer Mike to me. Is one of the most overrated rappers, people in the history of mankind. Like, dude, this dude is hilarious to me. Like, anytime Killer Mike speaks, I literally look at him and say, "Shut the hell up, bro!" Like, like, shut up, man. Like, what, what, what is your aim? Like, you're a trapper, politician, rapper, preacher, <laughs> father, pimp, hustler, businessman. Stripper, connoisseur, women's rights, <laughs> racist, equality, bigot, humanitarian. Like, that's Killer Mike in one whole lump sum. Like, Killer Mike to me is funny as hell. It's like, dude, what? It's like, what, what is your per Like, first of all, white people, liberals, um, black people, liberals, Atlanta, ATL, whoever, Killer Mike does not speak for me. And I'm, I hate when people say the black community, us, we, do. you speak for your, yourself. Killer Mike does not represent me. He might represent your ass, he does not represent me. Killer Mike does not represent me. <sighs> Just had to say that. But anyway, Adidas. They still gonna be selling Yeezys. What y'all think about that, man? That's interesting, man. Isn't that kind of interesting? That 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 even though they cut ties with Kanye or Ye, they still gonna sell his brand. And you know what I thought about that? I was like, wow, what what's what what what's gonna happen to Yeezys or the Adidas Yeezy brand? Like, will people still buy the shoe even though it's not associated with Kanye? Was people just buying the shoe because the designs were cool? Or did you buy it because Kanye had some type of connection to the whole um, design of the shoe or whatever you want to call it? Like, oh, I thought Kanye personally made these shoes in his basement or something. I thought he, like, drew the shoes up and thought, I, I thought this was his. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, wow, was it his? Or did he just sell his whole, I guess, um, creation to Adidas? Like, it says they own all of it, not a piece, not some, all of it. And this, this is pretty much where, I, where I'm at on this. It's like the dude Kanye would get on, you know, all of these platforms to talk about how you know the Jews is running business, they running Hollywood, they run this and run that. But yet and still, you had the opportunity. Now I don't know the full story, but it, it seems like you had the opportunity to create something, but instead of creating it. And building it from ground up, you created it and gave it to Adidas and sold it all to them. So now they own it and can sell it without your ass being a part of it. That's, I don't know how that works. I don't know the inner workings of that. Like, I, I mean, I really don't get it. Maybe somebody need to, needs to explain it to me. It seems like, you know, instead of crying about Jews and white people running corporations and, and making black people slaves and controlling people... How about creating something on your own and taking the steps to do it from the ground up? Like, if you ever wrote, read Phil Knight's story, I think it's called Shoe Dogs, he did it. Like, he built Nike from the ground up. He didn't build Nike and say, I'm going to go to Converse and ask them. He, he went through the steps and built his own shoe company. People do it all the time. Big baller brand. People laugh at that, but that's his. If, 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 if um... LeVar Ball say something anti-Semitic, Big Baller Brand not going to say we distance ourselves. He's not going to distance himself from himself. That's his. So, again, are we really, uh, when people blame other people for 
situations in their life, you need to turn that blame to yourself, man. Like, like I thought Kanye owned Yeezys, but I guess he doesn't, which is weird to me. So did Adidas come up with the whole style and design and ask Kanye to come on as a um, contributor to the brand or as an endorser? Like, I don't, I don't understand it. And I want to know now, now that we know Kanye is not going to be involved in this shoe anymore where people still buy it the way they did. And I don't know, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I own a pair of Yeezys. I think the only reason why I bought them is because of Kanye, to be honest with you, 100% to keep it 100. I like the shoe. I think they're comfortable. I think the design is cool. But if you really think about it, the, it's some other Adidas that look almost similar to those shoes that doesn't cost, that don't cost as much. But in some shoes, I think Adidas Boost costs as much, but the resale value is not as much as Yeezys. It doesn't sell out as fast. So... I don't know, man. It's going to be crazy to see if Yeezys or the brand formerly known as Yeezys sell as fast as they used to. And what's going to happen with the Yeezys that people got, the original ones? Are those um, values, going? is the value of those shoes going to shoot up because those are the originals? Where, where, where the new Yeezys be cheaper? Like, I don't know, man. That's that's the crazy thing about it. Would people still buy Jordans if it wasn't Jordans? And the thing about it with me is this. When you look at the Yeezy brand, the shoes, the slides, to me, when I looked at it, I kind of felt like I saw Kanye's persona in the slides and the shoes. So it's kind of like it was his, it, his energy was in that design. It just seems like when you saw the shoes, it said Kanye West. And then, you know, just like when you see Jordans, you see... You see the iconic things Jordan did in those shoes. So I think that would bring kind of the the attraction to those shoes. Now that Jordan's not playing anymore, you see the shoes that he comes out, out with later, like the Jordan brands and things like that, they don't sell as fast or as much or they're not as sought after as the actual Jordan shoes that he wore, even though they're different colors at the time. You know, you can't attach those iconic moments to the after Jordan brand shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, all of that. You can talk about, oh, that's the, the game sixes. That's the tongue outs. That's the 50, that's the, that's the jersey where when he dropped 55. Like, they all had a story behind it, just like the Kanye's. Those the Yeezys he wore when he, when he, when he ran from TMZ on Fifth Avenue. Them the Yeezys he wore when he got kicked out the soccer game with his kids. <laughs> Those the Yeezys he wore when he found out Pete Davidson was hitting Kim. <laughs> it's iconic moments that gives you attachment to the brand. Now that the brand is not attached to Ye, but people still want to buy them. That's what I want to know. And again, I don't understand, man. Like, this dude Ye walked around like he was so independent that all these, all this stuff was his, 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 and and they taking it from him. But it's like you sold it to him. It's your fault, bruh. Don't get mad at us because you came to the realization you don't own yourself. It ain't the Jews' fault. It's you's fault. <laughs> it's like this is crazy to me, man. Like these dudes make so much money and they still are not happy. So money can't bring you happiness. We see it right now. Money cannot bring you happiness. You're still going to be upset about things. You're still going to blame other people for your problems. And it's just a sad situation. Speaking of money not making people happy. I'm getting all off subject right now. But uh, what was that? Last week, they had the uh, the lottery. <laughs> what was that? $1.2 billion in the lottery? Was that the jackpot? And you know what? A lot of people... Bought tickets. I bought tickets. And I and, and you know what? When I didn't win, I was kind of relieved. I'm honest with you. I was kind of like, man, thank God I didn't win that. Thank God I did not win that billion one billion dollars. I'm going to tell you why. Because I felt like if I was to win that money, because if I'm not mistaken, if you win the lottery, at some point, you have to, like, you probably don't have to show your face, but your name is going to be out in the paper. So people are going to know who you are. I would not want to win a billion dollars and people knowing 
who I am. I would love to like make get a billion and nobody knows me. That's the way I would like to do it. But if you gotta get a billion dollars and your name is in that paper, I mean your life is gonna change. A lot of people don't look at it like that. I just thought about that when they're like, oh, if I won that billion dollars, my life will it change for the will, will my life be better? Or will it just be more money, more problems? I'm thinking it'd be way more problems. Because it's like I, I'm not a famous billionaire. I'm a, 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 I'll be a billionaire that nobody knows, but somebody may do the research, do their due diligence, and find out who I am, and they can track me down. <laughs> That's scary. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of glad I didn't win it. Kind, I'm kind of glad I just. I'm just being normal right now. But that's one thing I did think about. Like, dang, if I won that billion dollars, that'd be cool. And I thought about it some more. Like, wait a minute. If I won that billion dollars, somebody might find out who I am. And I don't know who it would be. I'm not a celebrity, so I wouldn't be used to people looking at me or knowing who I am. So I would have to hire bodyguards. And people say, why is this random dude with bodyguards? It just would be a lot of drama, man. It's like... I couldn't even sit down with my daughter or somebody asking for an autograph. I'd be like, Eminem. <laughs> With that, I am what I say. I'd be like that, dude. Like, people would just be hounding me. Like, who knows what? Like, people would call me on my phone. They find my phone number. They show up at my house. It, it'd be a lot of, I think it'd be a lot of inconveniences. So, I don't know, man. Like, the person who won it, shout out to you. I know, I don't know how they feeling right now, but dang, man. Your life can really change, and not for the better. Like, I've watched those documentaries, too, about people who won the lottery and how their life did not change for the best, and they always say, I was better off not winning this money. Just think what a billion dollars would do. Like, a lot of people say, if I had a billion, I'll do this, I'll do that. But you got to worry about the crazies out here, and, and with the internet and just more information being out there, somebody going to find out who you are, where you at, and it can lead to some... Some crazy stuff, when it, especially if you won the biggest jackpot in the history of all jackpots. You think no one's, it's not a lot of people out here that's going to be praying, lurking, trying to find out who you are. And that's just me being negative, I guess. But again, I'm glad I didn't win. Shout out to the person who did win. I hope he or she or they have a good life and none of that stuff happens. But um, I'm done with that.